Hello Pisces and welcome to your coffee cup reading for the week ahead of December 21st through the 27th and this is a very general reading. Pisces. New beginnings. Adjusting to uh, like the new normal or there is new beginnings. I see celebrations, uh, get together, something to celebrate. There is something there. Um, it's just like a joyous time. Okay. So I do see that energy is there, but there is something you're going to, you can't assume <clears throat> or make a quick judgment call. Something is like still not there yet. Okay. It's almost like, uh, the waiting game. Okay. So just waiting for some kind of piece of information or something is showing up here as well. Okay. All right. So let's see. Oh, wow. Make a wish. There could be a lot going on this week. Let me put it that way. <laughs> um, for some of you, you're starting all over again. You're starting fresh. Yeah, there is a focus on, uh, for someone out there, it's like someone either shocked or betrayed you. I do see that energy. There's a letter J, maybe um, significant for some. I do see also a number two. Um it's like there is a sense of someone has done you really bad, wrong, or betrayed you somehow. I do see that for some of you. And S is present, too. What I do see, too, is be um, what's your health and well-being. You could be just um, over, over, over thinking things. Okay? Um, it's the end of a difficult situation for some of you. Now, there is something here that says in the next, I guess, two weeks... Um, focus, watch your health and well-being, and um, there could be, you know, something that will be coming to an end is what I'm feeling too. Um, so that is showing up. I do see from these endings, you have a uh, high manifestation here. This is also commitments, talks, um, talks of marriage, talks of commitments, dealing with a group of people. Uh, for some of you, this is thinking of going back to school, um, Maybe um, also some of you may be switching jobs. This could be w working from one institution, so to speak, or um, a it could be even a government agency. I don't know. There is something there that's showing up. Uh, follow your gut. You really need to keep following your intuition, especially the next two weeks. I'm not saying you should always follow your intuition, but there is something there that's showing up as well. Uh, get a uh, get the rest that you need. For some of you, it could be separated from someone um, or a situation. It's almost like there is a sense of something is um, an, a continuance, okay? It's a, it's a, like a moment of separation or something. Get the re get your rest, okay? I'm seeing that. So watch your health and well-being. There's something here that's clearing the path. So this separation is going to bring an end to something eventually. I I'm I I don't know. That's the way I'm seeing it. Um, it, you know, get sleep. You could be dealing with headaches this week if you don't get the rest that you need or a lot of uh, fears and worries. But I do see um, a new spiritual and emotional path, renewal of love, new love coming through too. Um, there's a sense of a lot of sincerity here too. So it's like for you to be able to make a heartfelt decision or something, you're going to have to wait a little, okay? It's like if you wait... It's like either a tiny piece of information will be given to you that will make everything fall into place and then you'll be able to see the whole picture, okay? So that's one thing I'm seeing. And you will see the whole picture. So because right now you're not, you don't have all the facts or the information or something could be confusing. Then you can actually act on something because you are well informed. You'll know. And then you can actually um, make a sincere decision. All right, so I'm seeing that energy. I do see some sudden changes, okay? So expect some quick changes, sudden changes. Yes, that you're focusing on some disappointments. Um, maybe someone's hurt you. Um, it could be uh, connected to a group of people, but you know what? No, you shouldn't be worried. You, um, don't let um, that affect you. You have to let that energy go. Okay, so I'm seeing that if someone's going to, you know, there could be some talks or some information that comes in. To me, it's a no. It's either they're um, they're lying about something or all the facts are not there. That's why I say play the waiting game. Okay, so slow down. Don't assume anything because you don't have everything 
um, you don't have all the facts. Now, at least the next three days, um, I would slow it down, um, be cautious, focus more, and wait. It's like, don't jump into making any kind of decisions and that at least for the next three days and to two, two weeks, okay? But the next three days too. Um, a lot of things that have been going on the past week and that is kind of setting the tone for the next year. So I'm seeing that kind of energy already. Um, so slow it down and yeah, for the next three days, at least be uh, slow things down. Okay, watch where you're going, what you're doing, because you're kind of um, not focused enough too. Um, definitely play the waiting game. So for more, for more clear information to come through before you make any kind of informed decision, okay? There is new love, renewal of love. That energy is showing up too. So yeah, kind of a stressful week, but number one, manifestation and trusting your gut is going to be very important, okay? Anyway, that's the basic focus that came through for uh, Pisces. All right, Pisces, this was your reading for the week of December 21st through the 27th. I want to, um, I hope you, I want to, I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll catch you back next week for your next coffee cup reading. Until then, all the best and bye for now.